Welcome to a special edition episode of Niger Boy Yankee Girl. This is our slumber party with our very, very good friend, Sassy. Hey. Hey. So I chose her out of all the people I know because Sassy holds a very, very special part of our hearts, especially my heart. Like, I really look at her as like my blood sister. And I know that we can be intimate together and have intimate conversations and stuff. So that's why I want her to be a part of the Slumber Party Edition. We got our drinks, we got our popcorn, we got everything. We're going to do something different on this one. But I want to first dive into and ask Sass Casey questions because it's been a while since I've seen you, baby. Yeah. yeah. What you been up to, girl? Because the lip gloss line is popping. Yes, <laughs> that is popping. Yes, it is. Like, it's mostly work most of the time. Just work here, then chill a little. And then work again. Work again. <laughs> that work, work is 85% <laughs> of our life. Yeah, honestly. It's like I sleep, eat, and work, and do that the next day. I used to leave gloss coming because I was at lunch. Honestly. It was, it was wild. Yeah, so working on new products already. Oh, new wow. products. Yeah. Ah, like wow. 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 Is that my phone? <laughs> being disobedient on set? Okay. <laughs> um, tell me something you're grateful for and why. Um, I think life. Wow. Because hmm, I had an experience yesterday that was going wow. traumatized. Wow. <laughs> because, so what happened is, two guys had an accident right in front of my car, like a bad guy and someone crossing the road. Mm -hmm. you know, and they dropped right in front of my car. And, you know, I got down, checked if they're okay. And then, you know, people on the streets came and took them off the road. So I left. I mean, okay, they're yeah. fine. I left. Just for me to get to the next junction and, you know, this dogs come and they're like, I hit them and I ran. Uh -huh. It was serious. Like they came in a bus. They were full, Whoa. about twenty of them. They're like, you hit this guy. Thing. I'm like, no. They collided. I didn't even touch them. And if not for the last mile officials there, it would have been a mess because they were angry. Yeah, they were. Were you, were you, were you alone? Yeah, were you yeah, I was alone. Wow, I hate it. Like, oh, do you want to call the police? I'm like, I don't know any police officer in Lagos. Who am I going to call? Wow. And, I, and I explained to them, this is what happened. I did not hit them, you know. You can, the bad guy was conscious. You guys can ask him and all of that. And they're still like, yeah, okay, well, you will say to us, happy weekend. Yeah, That's what it was. It was all about that. Like, wow, fun. really? I mean, I didn't want to. I was going to drag it, but you know, they just told me these people can be crazy, so just give them anything. And then, see, that's the thing, too, with you being. People doing nothing. Nothing. That's the thing, and then you being at the level you at, and people know. You like know they take I think it's because you, you, they spotted you. I don't even think it's me because I don't think they recognize. I think it's the car. That car gets me in trouble. Wrong. Yeah. Because every time yeah. everyone sees me, it's like, now you, you have something to give now. us. You <laughs> <have something laughs> if you dress nice, they're going to say you got something to give. If you ride it so nice, it's the same. So I'm, I'm really just grateful for life because I was Word. scared yesterday. I was trying to keep my cool, obviously. I'm exactly. so scared. Like, these people can do anything and get away with it. Exactly. Like, that's the country we live in. They'll get away with it. God is Nothing's going to happen. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm grateful to have my friend here today, y'all, because I had to wish somebody hurt <laughs> if I would find out something different. Um, yeah, so yeah. tell us about, uh, I've been seeing you doing a lot of modeling. You uh, you model anyway, but you've yeah. been getting big brands. Yeah. Tell us how it's been. Um, so, runway modeling is what I've been doing a mm. lot. And it's not something I thought I could ever do, because, you know, I thought I had to be a certain size. And height and high. all this stuff, here. Yeah. But, um... The good thing is, I guess the modeling industry is kind of evolving. Yes. Nobody's really looking at, oh, you need to be seven feet or you need to be so skinny and all that. So I'm doing that slowly. And sometimes it feels like it's not really my thing. Like, I should just stick to, you know, picture modeling. The editorial yeah. part. Yeah. Why, 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 why it, didn't you like Yeah, why didn't you like it? I think the last place I saw you yeah, was Lingo's Fashion. It. It, yeah, yeah. It's, I prefer doing it actually, editorial modeling, because I feel more comfortable, you know, trying out different styles, different poses, than just wrong where you have to work a certain way. <laughs> yeah. So, but um, yeah, I'm. But I'm proud of you. That too. I'm glad you're doing your thing. Yeah. Um, I wanted to do something different with you today. We're going to dive in to Ooh. questions. Okay. So from people, people send us questions. From from send questions people. is, um, it's a lot of crazy. Okay. <sighs> but, all right, I'm going to give some and see them back some too as well. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. so, can exes be friends? Who's that from? Hmm, this is from EW. <laughs> I'm doing the initials. EW from Louisiana, so this is from the States. Can exes be friends? 
I don't know to be honest, but I there's something I believe. I think if you've ever really loved someone, mm -hmm. I don't think you can be just friends with that person. I agree. I, I don't I think it's agree. possible. Except, you know, the relationship was just vibes, you know. I don't think you can be friends with someone. I, like I say the same thing. Once you cross a certain line, you always exactly. Come, you know? So what exactly. about what about this instance of um, you guys have a, you guys have a child together? That that's even if different. This is not marriage now. That's really really different because you're just co-parenting, and of course there will be boundaries to that and all of that. Yeah. Said. So to be like it's. Um, Indirect friendship, like a stage friendship. No, you're guys. just no, co you're co parenting. That's so what's co parenting is? Are you, are you, you guys friends? A job. Is it a job? Yeah. No. Are you guys colleagues? <laughs> no, it's like we're working together just to make sure our child is okay and feels like both exactly. parents are available for he or she. That's just it. There's That's nothing. True. Whatever we're both doing is just to favor our child. Hmm. When I read the question, hmm. the sad thing when I read the question, the first thing I can picture is I'm with a new person, they're with a new person, they talking about I, double dates. Never. Because never. In this, in this, never. In this part of the world. <laughs> what? In this part of the world, I don't think the it's more ex, you have to fight with your ex compulsory. Uh, no, I don't agree with that to be honest. I mean I'm cool with a lot of my ex, not all, but a lot of yeah. my ex. <laughs> I'm cool with them. I don't think you need to fight with them. Even if you ended on bad terms, you know, you can still talk over it and just get it settled. But this part, of, do you think people are do you think people are cool with uh, what's that thing called closure and all this stuff? What what closure are we talking about? Please, <laughs> <laughs> he going <laughs> deep. <laughs> 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 it's done. It, it, no, and this is a quote no. that one of my friends used to say us growing up: "A ex is an ex for a reason." Exactly. Like you are ex, you ex. stay over there. Oh please. Ex marks the spot. This it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it so is what, what it what is. Your None. family. <laughs> it's 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 family. <laughs> he just being difficult. Okay, we got another one okay, from okay. Ay from the Philippines okay. said, "What does a healthy relationship feel or look like?" Hmm. So, me relationship. I, I'm gonna start it with relationship can be a friendship mm -hmm. or it can be a romantic uh, thing too. It could be, you know what I mean? Um, when you all can tell each other the truth. Yeah, and yeah, and yeah. even if you get offended, y'all take your time and come back together and talk yeah, about it. Yeah. Uh, so a foundation of communication, I will say that's what it, it feels a little like for me. And then also, you don't have to talk every day. Um, believe yeah. it or not, I have a few people that I consider as like my best friends. And I once a year, twice a year, when we had sure. a conversation, it is what it is. Because they understand that I'm busy, understand that they're busy too. Yeah. So I would say that's what it feels like it looks like for me. Yeah, I agree though. I definitely think a healthy relationship has to consist of you being friends first before having anything with my life. I mean, imagine you're actually friends with this person, you know, there's genuine friendship. You tell them how your day went. Mm -hmm. Even if, you know, you met someone outside, you still tell them how mm -hmm. that went. Or oh, someone tried to get your number, you still tell them how all that went. And there's still the romantic side. I think that's, that's a start. That's a start. So that means, that means, means um, a genuine relationship is more like, uh, like a walk than uh, Cause yeah, it's work. it's work. I mean, I saw this tweet like two days ago or something that says um, love can happen accidentally or unintentionally, but where it gets real is when you put in the work because you have to. Yeah, this deep. You wow. have to. I mean, sure. Huh. I'll be working. So what's your what's your because you're talking all this controversial stuff. No, no. So no, what no. does a, a healthy relationship feel or look like for you? Boy, and the, be, and the beginning, I would say communication. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like that's that should be the main foundation for me. I personally, I feel it's communication. If you can communicate with me very well, then everything else will flow. Yeah, everything will flow. Yeah, I say agree. everything. You know, I'm dying tomorrow. Okay, I'm waking up next day. Okay, um, I'm going to drink next week. But like, but see this communication. Do you believe like you should tell your partner everything? Because then you know. There's some things that you know hey. will destroy hey. the relationship. Yo, okay, <laughs> give, give an example. Okay, okay, give an example. I don't know, maybe something from your past or something okay. you do. Okay, all right. You just know your partner either doesn't really like that or you just know it to be a problem in the relationship. Because me, I'm the type of person, I don't even want to know. I want to know about your past, but I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to be compared. I don't, I don't want to. Yeah. I, I don't want none of that. Mm -hmm. Like, so I do. I don't know. I think it's the whole 
possessiveness in me. Yes, I'm putting it out there. I, 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 I am with it. When it comes to people, like, I'm such a protector. Yeah. So I think it's, with me, it is, like, some stuff I just, like, I'll just rather you not tell me. And then I'll be feeling low-key because it's the controlling part of me. I'll be low-key, like, no, I want to know. Yeah. So it's, thing. yeah. I'm like, don't well, tell me. Yeah, some stuff I just feel like you don't even have to waste your you time. You don't have to, yeah. yeah don't waste your some, time. Coming from, uh, maybe, for example, somebody that has a very dark past. Okay. Maybe, uh, I should have to probably the bank before. <laughs> no, you need to tell me that. So, <laughs> but we started from okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me finish That's the exactly. example. <laughs> uh, molested a child for. Oh yeah, I need to know that. See, uh -oh. see, see. Okay, now wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. No, for for women, you just want to know everything. But when you guys know, it's it's it goes it goes down with you guys. No, but I mean, if you if you've been a criminal. Yeah, I need to know. I need to know. Yes. But you can know literally, like little, little, little. Little, little, little was. So, hi, girl. Um, I wanted, I wanted to be my girlfriend. I was a criminal before. Like, no, it eventually need to come up. But it, I mean, even if it's not, but I do feel like in the beginning, you need to let people know that type of stuff so they can like, be that's aware. Extreme. That's extreme. That's something you need to know before you even. Start I agree. I agree. Or being in a relationship. I agree. What? You brought the it's, back. It's difficult for the guy. It will be difficult. For oh, me. and it's so easy for, for me. Uh, no, no, I'm just saying from the guy <laughs> asking. Because even from you, for, for I mean, the, uh, a lady, for example. I mean, I didn't ask if you. I have, maybe later in the relationship, you can tell me some stuff. But at the beginning, because you give me doubt, I will not see the new you or the true you if you tell me some dark stuff. So that's something, though, to be honest, because it's like you're not sure if it's best to tell the person at the beginning of the relationship or when you're a bit more yeah, 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 that would answer. Because what if it don't last and then you didn't tell this person all your yeah, business and this person is... Exactly. The person, just be or the person just be judging you. you know, yeah, the person is. Yeah. 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 Well, that's deep. Well, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You're gonna do all right. Last, last. This this person had another question too. Okay. Am I selfish for putting my career first? I think all of us can answer it from our own perspective. Mm. This. So if I think this person was coming from a, yeah, a relationship of uh, uh, standpoint, yeah. and I think that's where it was coming from. Like, if I'm in a relationship, am I selfish for putting my career first? I'll let you go first. I, I honestly don't think it, that's selfish because mm. I mean. Your career is you. It's I you. mean, if that relationship doesn't work out, you still have your career. You know, True. whether it works out or not, you still have your career. So I think if I, a supportive partnership with someone that would help you, you know, with your career, I you mean, say the key word support. Should support yeah. Yes, should be very supportive. Whatever it is you're trying to do. I mean, don't tell me. No, man, I'm, so, I'm a very today. selfish person. Just so, 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 so if they say you can't, if your man say you can't model no more, huh? um, <laughs> 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 uh -huh. land <laughs> or you can't, I, I love your little outside, uh -huh. but no more because you get too much attention. That's, that's the audacity. Yeah, I I'm feel you. I'm not doing that. Anyway, everywhere you go, I'm, don't I'm worry, I'll that, drop no, it off. You can't tell me, oh, um, if your work is making you, if I have to maybe travel somewhere, you're like, no, I really want this to be, mm-mm. Yeah. Love is going to happen some other time. Exactly. Not, I feel this, not this time. So with me, I feel I feel that if that some people meet you in your career. Yeah. So you can't now because we're in a relationship tell me that yeah. I can't be this. I can't. This is not who I'm supposed to be mm -hmm. when you made me doing mm -hmm. this because all of us are doing our career. Yeah. So if somebody, if somebody meet us now, you can't say that you don't know who I am and what I do because you see that first social mm -hmm. media being prominent. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can't even hide what you do these days. You know what I'm saying? So you can put your relationship and money to the side and hide that. But career wise, that's what you promoting because that's what you want to continue to go for you. So if somebody, to me, I do feel like it's not selfish to put your career first because. Your career is first, it, it, and love will come second. Yeah. Like you got you when you when you don't have nobody else. Mm. So but I even, do. Even that it can come together. It doesn't, love doesn't all the time. It's no, but together. there are people that yeah, this, yeah, try, it's like you know you have to pick me or your career or something. Yeah, it's bad like that. But I do agree with SK. They got to be a supportive yeah, partner. I with that too. Supportive to. partner. All right, child. This is a good one. Uh, this is Pete from Nigeria. Is it advisable to be close to your partner's family? In African culture, <laughs> hey. it is believed that you don't marry just a man but his family knowing some family are toxic but your partner is good should you ignore the family of the partner is it good or bad and what are the things to be weary of this was a loaded question Whew. all right we're gonna start with the uh, is it advisable to be close to your partner's family let's yeah. start with that one because this was loaded um I, well i mean is it in a relationship or marriage i think 
different it's two different things now this yeah, point that's it that's cool i don't think you exactly need to be close except it just happens that you know you catch a vibe with the family or something I don't know if that's necessary in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're married, that's totally different yes, because, like he said, you know, the African culture is like yeah. you're married to the whole family, and it's advisable that you be close to them. At least be cautious. But, okay. But if they're toxic, yeah, you got to stay away. Stay away well, be diplomatic. Day or day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's not. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I think that that one There's for no me. Point. I agree with SK one thousand percent. Um, I'm the type of person I don't care nothing about your family. If they disrespectful to me right. and they not trying to make it work with me, I'm yeah. not gonna push myself. Yeah, if, if they cool. be disrespectful, yeah, uh, I was, yeah, they have to be put so in there. And some families do be like that when you get you come to you already getting judged for one because you're an outsider, so they already have their like preconceived ideas. Then once they get to you, some of them don't even get to know you. They just have this preconceived yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she booze your sex and she stuck mm -hmm. up. She booze and you are like you haven't even talked to me. Yeah. So I feel like. Really, it's up to the individual, but for me, I'm not fighting for to be with your family because I'm married to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, the, and the Bible says, cling to your husband and leave your family. So at the end of the day, <laughs> I don't have to preach. And, and and God help you, the man is, yeah. is not straightforward. You know? You're going to have a hard time either him trying to balance it out, either like that supports you or support his family. Or, hmm. And, that's, and it'll be that's a mess. another thing, to be honest. Let's get the male perspective of this. It's another thing. See, because, um, how should I put it? Um, should I, we allow me to say, I think some people might drive me, but <laughs> in the, <laughs> when I'm saying male are leaders, I mean in the marriage, for example, mm -hmm. the man is the leader, right? Mm -hmm. So I think from a leader aspect, you have to be diplomatic about being yeah, close of and being course. you don't even have to be a leader to be diplomatic about true yeah stuff because like that. for me right there's some family that will be like maybe the guys already attached to the family mm -hmm. or the ladies already attached to the, or a lot of those or um, only child my one yeah and if you love the guy number one you have to sit the guy down and say this is what i noticed you like your mom but at the same time like just have a sit down, have a conversation mm -hmm. yeah. on what suits you and if it can work with you. It's not like you bring everything down, oh, like maybe he does 10 stuff with his mom. I feel like, no, from now on, start doing zero stuff with your mom. Mm -hmm. you, know? you can just be like, say, no, reduce it to five. Okay, or going to back seven. to what yeah. Sasuke said earlier. But like, I don't know, I guess it just. I mean, it's his family. There's no way you can really you can, tell you, someone. Yeah, to, to really stop them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not normal. But at the same time, you have to just try the partner to, to respect. Yeah, 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 yeah. But touching on what she was saying about the man, if the man is not a straightforward person, and he already, like, he gonna be, this, this man gonna be miserable as hell. Let's be mm -hmm. honest. Mm -hmm. Because it's gonna be like, dang, I can't, there's nothing I can do that's gonna make her happy. There's nothing I can do to make the family happy. Like, he's, He's gonna be miserable. So it really depends on the type of guy or a girl or whoever. It just depends on that. It really depends. It depends on, on the strength of him. He might end up being someone that would support his family no matter what you say. Yeah. Or supports you no matter what the family says. Now, if you are part of the family, let's imagine now we're speaking from the family's perspective. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, you might see your your brother or your sister's partner is not exactly a good person in one way or the other, and you know, you try to put it out to them and they're like, no. That's my partner, don't say shit. So yeah. it feels somehow too sometimes. It's you know, complicated. It's it complicated, is. honestly. What you want me to read one more rest? question for me? No, what's the rest? I think. No, that, oh, so the other question, sorry, because look, I'm ready to move on to the next question, because yeah. this one, I this was a loaded one. So um, he also said, knowing some of the family is toxic, but your partner is good, should you ignore the family of the partner? How long would you ignore? How long you gonna ignore them when you gonna come around? Yeah, what, they what, gonna come around. What if they are toxic? That just if they are toxic. If they are toxic, yeah. If it, for me, I, I will stay away. <laughs> so I mean, they are going to come not around. Not that I will see them. The Christmas, they going to come around. Yeah. To celebrate birthdays. They will always. See, I'm about a good cussing them out. See, y'all, I'm they, about cussing them toxic, out. If they will push you to the wall. Yeah. They will push. They you will push you, especially if you a person that don't stand up for yourself. That's a place of control, then. If, if, for example, maybe a uh, toxic family and they come at you, maybe if you see them once in a year, maybe Christmas or something. That once in a year, they'll make it help. They'll make it help. Because I just, I just they remember, I said that and I just remember the, um, some see, black American movies, so, oh, not those Christmas movies. Not even because 
Yes. Even he has told us everything. Yeah. <laughs> and then think about a year and they're not around and they're used to their person being around. Yeah. Now they feel like you the reason that they're not around. Yes. And it yes. could be the, yes. the spouse yes. that's like, nah, I'm just doing this to protect that's peace, but they're going to automatically blame you. So when they come around, they're going to give you hell. And I kind of went through that before. That's why I'm speaking from, I'm being trying to be wise with my words, but I'm, gonna be, I'm good at cussing people out. Um, you toxic, you come around, I'll stay away. I'm, let me look into the camera. I'll stay away until you pull, give, give me the go, to, to, and then you're going to get it. Like, period. Like, And that's going to make it even harder for the spouse. Again, I think it need to just be a, a common thing with the spouse stand up and be like, yo, this is who I'm with. And y'all need to respect it and vice versa. Like, this is my family. Y'all need to find a way to communicate. Because everybody got to have a communication style. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, it's some people that communicate well in the face of each other. It's some people that communicate well texting. Away from each other. Yeah, away yeah. from each other, just yeah. texting and hitting each other every once in a while. Well, social media has made us cowards, low-key, in my opinion, because true, people true. quit the text before they actually pick the phone up and like, yo, I'm sorry. So, yeah. yeah, it just depends on the communication style, but that's up to the spouse, too, uh, to, like, make them, like, known, like, this is this need to happen and it need to happen in a good way. So I feel like that part. Okay, the last question from his. Okay. Oh, they said is it good or bad. We, I think we kind of covered it. And what are the things to be wary of? We just kind of said it. Like, you gonna go through yeah. hell. <laughs> learn to, don't get it learn, 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 just learn to just keep reading books of control. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I love reading books, but <laughs> I don't think that does it. <laughs> just keep because you can't control yourself. Ah, everything will scatter. All right, I'm gonna read another question. Did you have one? I have, I have, okay, you got one. All right, actually. go ahead. So this one is too. this first one is too. It's different from one. What was the last thing you did? What was the last thing I? You go good. I don't have to check. She got a check. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let, let me quickly check. Um, hey, that's a good question, though. And you too. Um, the last. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. So I googled the word the swastika here. Hmm. Swastika. So I saw um I saw people talking okay, about a tweet Kanye made. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. David yeah. Cross and then swastika. And I'm like, what's this about? You know. So I tried to Google to find out what it's about. Yeah. The last oh, yeah. thing I googled, <laughs> well, please stop. Was uh, actually in the vein of that, the, the whole Balenciaga and oh, yeah, Kim yeah, yeah, Kardashian yeah, yeah. thing, mm-hmm. because the pictures was already taken offline, yeah. and I wanted to see what it was. I wanted to see the images of these dolls or kids I saw, or whatever. I saw it on Instagram, and I was and I can't find it. Yeah, when I first saw the picture, I didn't really figure. I'm like, okay, yeah, I should. Until I saw someone explain, explain. My yeah, way. That's yeah, they went into it's, it was crazy. Yeah, when I've seen that, being someone who has done tons of photo shoots, I know there's nothing there by mistake. Nothing, I nothing. Swear. nothing. I swear, everything, I swear. Was, intentional. everything was intentional. There was no mistake. It was crazy. It was even scary. It's, it's not even just random papers. No, they picked out these papers and decided. exactly. You saw the doors, a, the door with yeah, the, 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 the genitals and Ooh. stuff. Yeah, that's the one that blew me. I was like, wow. And they went and see the internet is powerful. And money is powerful. Too, mm-hmm. because they can pay to get all this stuff removed, oh, yeah. um, and that's what happened. So the people that did screen grab it, they were really posted. Kind of screen grab but yeah. I mean, you, anything you put online in one second is done. It's, it's in done. it's in the universe. It's done. It's done. There was this other one I saw with the teddy bear dressed like a what's it called? Is it Femdom or BDSM? Yeah, so that's so the one they yeah. really dragged Kim them about. Uh, because they was like, y'all got these kids wearing this stuff, and it's like S and M type stuff and dominatrix stuff, and I was just like, wow, yeah. So that's the last thing I googled. You? What was the last thing? I think I got to check, but it's not, it's not fun. <laughs> you want to just point out? Oh my god! Last thing I googled. Hey gods, bonne fois. But number was last. That, yeah, that was the last person I could really? Google. What you Google about? So he, he, he just did this concert in um, this Switzerland or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I went online just to read more about the what's it called this Grammy thingy. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, just to read more about it. But um, before that, before that was I googled this dog. Oh, you googled him? Yeah. This is money, y'all. This this That's the same nice. boy. American Eskimo. All right, what's your other question? Because okay, I have so, one more good one after this. It was your home. Mm-hmm. Ha, ah, Sasuke, this is ah. no support. <laughs> Tell us something you think is true that almost nobody agrees with you. Hmm. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you have to drop the popcorn, right? <laughs> no, so I just like a few minutes ago, I was discussing this with my friend. So, 
my friend made a tweet saying how um he doesn't know how marriage works because you know seeing the same person every day when you come back from work is the same person Sometimes. there you know mm. feels like you need some time to miss the person and of course people are saying all sorts of things like no you don't understand how marriage works and i kind of agree with him because to be honest i don't know how i'm gonna do it to be seeing you every day it's like i need some time to miss you maybe let me just even if it's mm. too late to me we could be neighbors instead you know, let's, no, just, I have let's just leave my best friend all day there like, for a while. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it's if it's Gen Z thinking. I don't know, but I just really feel that way too. It's like I think it's am I gonna get you. tired of you? Am I gonna get bored of you? Although it's the you know, there. people would change after a while. You mm-hmm. know, it's like mm-hmm. a new person now. But I'm there. I'm seeing the whole change gradually. I would prefer if I just leave, come back. Then. It's a whole new you. Oh, okay. So you're really. I feel like your marriage will work because you will be always traveling. I feel like it was. I think that's why <laughs> that's there. that question, right? Yeah. The the, the or that your example is mm. um, the people I I pity the most, so like my parents, civil servants. Oh yeah, people that do the same work. Yeah. And mm. f- for example, my parents they are civil servants and they work at the same place. Thanks, so this is and they've been doing they, that. They, they they've been doing that before they give birth to me. I, mean, I, couldn't even, <laughs> I couldn't even date someone I was in the same school. Uh, no, 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 like the same class with. Yeah, same yeah. Class. Uh, I think it's the artist in you too. Like that, that yeah, explains your so, art too. I, yeah. I can't really be talking be one thing or seeing one thing at the time. Like I can't even have my own art on my walls. Cause yeah, because you get bored of seeing it. Like, I'm kind of like that with like clothes and shoes. Yeah. Uh, like art, different stuff like that. Like switching stuff out, changing it out. But then I need to know that it's still there because there's the possessing in me. <laughs> I need to know it's there. But I do, I understand that. Um, I had a really good friend, I have a really good friend of mine yeah. that went through marriage. Uh, he was with the same girl for 14 years. They married, had kids, and literally mm-hmm. stayed in different apartments. I mean, he was like, he's not, he's like, he didn't cheat. None of that. He's just, just like, I have to someone, miss you. You know, that understand yeah. that too and kind of. Feels the same. And way. also, even you can add, aside from that, even while you guys are in the same space, like spice of the relationship. Just yeah, but it's like, <laughs> in the space okay, of okay. how many years, how many things do you want to do? How many things are you going to that's, do? That's why, that's why relationship, marriage, everything is work. Yeah, I guess Love so. is the foundation. You have to yeah. build something on the foundation, mm-hmm. right? Because it's more of, is a work, is a duty. If mm-hmm. you can work in, and how you come for 20 years. Okay. Even if you're tired for it and the pay is good, right? You keep doing it. Yep. Or you change to another company. I just think the craziest part is like people changing. Like you know this person will change normally. Yeah. Like everybody will change after a while and all of that. I think that's just crazy because you don't know what they're changing. But a lot of people don't change accept, A lot of people don't accept no 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 let me say don't accept. Don't even get ready for change. They don't believe it's it's hard. It's like, oh yeah, I got married to her when she was some Rihanna. And you've changed. Or some and you've changed. Ten years later, you've changed. You've changed. Yeah, I have to change. I mean, you've changed also. You tell me that I've changed. Yeah. You too, you've changed. So like, what happens if the person changes into someone you just don't Anymore. That's where the Yo, work, that's where I the went work through that. Yeah, that's the, yeah, the work, that's where the the work comes in, but then that, part, that person got to want it too. No, it has to be both of you, not one Yeah, person. that person got to want it too. That's even in a friendship. Friends change. Your taste yeah. buds change every yeah. seven years. So seven years ago, you may have liked... Yeah, me. yeah. Your taste buds change. So seven years ago, you seven may not like something. I was something. a fan of Fanta and Sifu. Yeah, and it's, it's your, cha- your taste buds change. So well, yeah, and that's thing. like yeah. the biological makeup. Like it'll change. Like maybe you like spicy food. Seven years ago, you might like it spicier. Or you might not like it spicy. And I bet happened to me. Um, it's certain stuff that I wouldn't eat, wouldn't even look at. Yeah. And now I will now because of my taste buds has changed. But I think that's with, I don't know, it, if it's a person that you, your, really your life partner, somebody that you can ride with, I feel like you'll do it. But I do agree with you. I'll be scared of change when it comes to that. Cause you don't know what the person gonna change it to. So that is, this deep. So that was a good one. My, my uh, thing that I believe that people, say the question again, cause I want to say it right. Something, cause I know. Something that is true, that is true but all, all that's not. I believe in robots. In aliens, I'm a big robot person. 
<laughs> See, I, the, I really, I'm a big, big robot person. I even have a robot at home. I'm a big, like, I, that's my next type of business I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna be a robot. Yeah, I'm, I'm into it. The Jetsons, um, growing up when I was watching the Jetsons cartoon, yeah. and the dog was a robot, and Oh, that was in flying cars and stuff like that. Like I'm, I, I, I'm praying that that happens like right now. Like I've been wanting this since yeah. I was a child. Like, and I'm a big Same. robot person. Like, um, I'm really legit studying how to build robots. That's gonna be another business for me because I'm, yeah. I want to build robots that help clean your house. Like, I won't have to have different people in here helping me run the room. We can have a robot running their camera. Yeah. Like, I'm into that. Not, but people be against me about it. They felt some people don't believe it. Then some people is against me about it because they're like, it's gonna take the human job. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that, that part kind of makes me sad. I'm looking at well, you like two weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> no, but actually, I, I understand people that think it's going to take the human job because it will. It will. It will. But then again, um, the world is evolving. If it takes those jobs, then I think we can create other jobs for humans. Too. Talk right. about that's what I was about to say. Since, we create since, other jobs. Since you're futuristic about robots mm -hmm. getting jobs or doing jobs, right? What can you be futuristic about? What jobs women can do? When yeah, they can help uh, program the robots. <laughs> <laughs> but am I, they can help program the robots, one person, keep them... One, one person can program 1.5 million robots. No, they cannot. Yeah, it's just one program and they no, copy, but... copy, copy, copy into different robots. Yeah, but then it's not just... Machines break down, yeah. Robots, first of all, maybe you're creating the ones that are cleaning, you're creating the ones that are okay. working on the roads or doing something else, you know, it's not just one type yeah, of... Yeah, but... They still need supervisors. Trying, no, what I'm trying to say, the, the job, the vacancy of that job is... Limited compared to you need cleaners yeah, in your house. We'll, give us time. We'll come up, we'll come up with something. Thank you. Time. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to come up with give it. Because for me, the only part that I feel we need robots is maybe war or something. So, this is another thing. Now, that's true. Another that, thing. Instead of human beings dying. That'd be crazy. Mm, that'd be crazy. Or maybe some <laughs> dirty work or some. Um, but with the but robot thing. I still going. think when we get there, then we would we'll know, you know. Start planning now. And me with the robot yeah, thing, I feel like it's good. It's a good thing. So you're in that space before you really see, you know. You believe in aliens too, right? I do. Of course. I do. Of course. Oh my goodness. You're an alien too. Who's the, who's, who's, exactly. Who's, who's, who's an alien? You're an alien. We are crazy. You're going to Mars right now. You're an alien. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. I do believe, believe in aliens. Alien. So what do you think happens on the other planets? Nothing. Nothing. God just moves around whatever it does. Yeah. The stars. So you think God is that boring that he wouldn't create aliens? Uh, He's that boring. For real. He's just gonna create us this like, year. We are mess already. You think I think God, think what God he's just dying. okay. And if God did create he created a human that created him, it's they they exist. They do. Do you have proof? I mean did you Yes. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I think people have been people have been sleeping on this a lot because was it earlier this year? I think there was news of um a UFO was detected and I'm surprised like it hardly got any coverage at all. But then again, I'm not so surprised because you know these people are good at hiding Maybe it's yeah. a There's this maybe interview it's a I star. saw of this small kid, I think it was maybe in the eighties or something, and we were detecting how yes. he was he came to their school and this guy was ex this small kid, probably an old man now, was explaining how you know the thing blue was looking at him and all of that. And you can see the truth, like you know, you know. Kids are like, and I think I've seen a couple yeah. of them. That's the disbelief in others. I think I've seen yeah, a couple are, of them. They're probably amongst us right yeah. now. There's a part of the Bible that says um the, the time is coming, people will only listen to what they want to hear. When they're talking about future, I mean, it's been, it's so maybe this is just you guys, you know, I mean, wanting to make sense of what you want. I mean, I mean, I was saying something. <laughs> no, this is just you just want to believe in it. They are among us. You just don't know. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then you're gonna be trying so to work not, with them. Yeah, don't find me dead because yeah. then I'll be friends with them <laughs> and I'll be killing them. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the problem. That's they're the problem. Don't and I feel like they're here to help us too. I do. I, I want really to, do. I want to be in the, you know, that Pacific Rim thing being you know, the is it Kaiju or Jiga, you know, shooting them and all that stuff. Yeah. Alright, give us yours. <laughs> Tell us what you talk again. We should move on, right? <laughs> okay, what is mine? <laughs> mine is my uh, <clears throat> Should I say something about sexuality? Say it. Yeah. Don't drag him. I know I told you I'll drag him earlier. Don't drag him. <laughs> okay. I think I've told you this before. Mm -hmm. I don't see this dog. Okay, so hang it out. Yeah. So 
There's this thing I later discovered about okay. the LGBT community. Right? Mm. I will say it's just my belief system. Mm. It's not every. It's not just just because, and that's the only thing you did. You had sex with a man, and you're a man, and you're a man. Mm. Or let me put it that I don't believe man having sex with a man is exactly the same thing as being gay. Okay, explain. <clears throat> because I believe. Did he have sex to enjoy and continue to be with a man? No. Or it just happened once and that was it? No. I believe being gay is a lifestyle, mentality, way of thinking, mm -hmm. thought process, and everything that comes together with it. Mm -hmm. But some it's idiots. I'm laughing. I can't help but see him. But I'm some idiots. <laughs> but some idiots will just be like, oh, because I have sex with this man yesterday, I'm gay. Mm. I don't believe that's the only. I'm not saying it's not part of it, but I don't believe that's the only reason when, for when you. When you say it that way, then okay. But I mean, dictionary definition of gay is literally you know being with someone that's the same, same sex with you. Yeah. I know. That's where I it just, begins. That's, that's, that's where it okay. starts. That's where it begins. Thank you. For me, that's why I said I don't believe it's that's the only reason. So, so if it's probably, that it starts with that, or you find yourself attracted to the same sex, and then yeah. you start having to work on your mindset, seeing that, okay, maybe this isn't such a bad thing after all, or trying to think of how you would operate as a person now, attracted in a lifestyle. To the same sex. Because I just, I, because there, there, there are across. definitely some people that do it for business. But they don't. <laughs> like, because I just. Wait, wait, no, wait, 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 no, wait, 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 because wait. even if it's for business, yeah. okay, you're gay. I mean, do, you could do no, but that's not the only reason why you. That cannot be the only reason for you to be gay. That's what I'm saying. So now you're telling me, so if, I, okay, if for example, I'm, I sleep with women just for business, and outside that, you know, I, I don't. But normally, I'm deep gonna... within you, you know yourself. You know you're not. You're just doing it because you want to make money. But if I want, if she got want to, to find some type of excitement or attraction in it to be continue to do it. But, you can't. You people not eat. Okay, I know sex workers. I'm 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 cool with a lot of people. I know sex workers. I know strippers. Yeah. Yeah. You have it. Still have to be even the ones that I've talked to strippers. That's shame to go on the pole. They still find excitement there's, there's in the adrenaline yeah. rush, the if tension. You, to yeah, you got to like it. Doing. Thank you. I don't care how, no how society try to make it. Thank you. There has to be a part of this. Sex Talk about it, Sex. Amen. So, am I wrong, though, right? So, no, I can't give you sex. You're completely wrong. Real, no. So, my thing, I feel like if you had sex with a man and you continue, like she said, that's the start, and you continue, that's, the start, yeah. that's it. Now, it is a situation where men like men and they get them drunk and rape them. Men, men get raped too. Yeah, yeah, People yeah, always yeah. talk about females getting raped. Yeah. Men get raped as well. Mm -hmm. And you get raped. Now, nah, that's different. Cause you was raped, but if you continue after that, like, hold on, he raped me, but I kind of, uh -huh. I need me a zaddy, you know what I'm saying? I need me a zaddy. <laughs> then, brother, you are now a part of you are you are. That's 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 just one. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> we said enough. Okay, I got one more question, and we're gonna make this short, and then I'm going to the next part, and then we out of here, cause sister says, "Hey, guys, what to do?" She's we got stuff to do. All right, this is for all of us. What's the biggest lesson y'all learned this year? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Look, everybody, they're ready. Stop, 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 stop. The biggest thing I've learned this year, mm -hmm. and why I'll never forget 2022, no matter how, because I know my other years will be greater, but mm -hmm. this year I've learned that, you know, they'll they be preaching nothing is impossible. Mm -hmm. Preaching. When well, you just started, which is. It was your Just talk of mouth. Oh, you that you don't have anything, you're telling me nothing is impossible, right? Yeah. This year made me believe everything is impossible. Everything is possible. Mm. Maybe because of that, I'll start believing your alien thing. But <laughs> before please, then, please <laughs> don't bring my aliens in. But for real, everything mind. is possible. Even doing this um, season one reloaded of you know, this podcast, we creating all this. Mm -hmm. I painted this myself, oh. the white part, I got somebody to do this. Yeah. Sasha was on the phone, yeah. like video call and somebody's painting. Like, oh. you know, sometimes you feel like you have to be there. Yeah. The way everything happened, there's this other side, there's this other side, you know, we did this place just in one day. 
small. It's really cool when it's set up. We have to show you it's really cool when it's set up. Just in one day, because we had a shoot, a photo shoot in every day. And from that on, even happening, even um, Gentle Soul being available to shoot it, I never, never be. Because we've tried shooting a lot of failures, go to TV stations. Mm-hmm. Some yeah, G G been riding with us yeah. the whole time. Some Tunji will, been riding. Yeah. It's been crazy. Some of them tell us, and we went as far as shooting stuff. Yeah, and can't get the episode and be like, well, oh, don't shoot in the regard. Yeah, we can't get the regard. They are not airing. Yeah, like, like it's crazy. And this is stuff that this ain't. I, we didn't just jump up and want to show just because everybody got podcasts. Like legit, I've been doing TV stuff for over fifteen years. Like legit, like. Oh being featured on different shows and stuff like yeah. that. And G was with us when we was doing this big DIY show. We was going to sh- in the midst of shoot like 23 episodes. We bought all these celebs. We shooting with people, some, teaching them stuff. So a human being. Some, so a human being that no, we would not give him no this kind of credit. Right. Be, be an alien. Yeah, he, yeah, I'd be an alien because I could get him. <laughs> but um, he came and just shut down the whole operation because right. he wasn't a part of it from the beginning. It's just been a lot of that. A lot of uh, people that came that was cool and they fell off. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like people, you like that, that's my dog, and they go. You know what I'm like? It's, it's just a journey. Like when people see like how far this yes. thing has come. Like even you, you being around. Like we've been cool. I feel like I'm tired with you, and we don't even talk every day. And I feel like I'm tired <laughs> with you than I am with people that I've been knowing for 20 years. Because you, yeah. you, 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 you were a part of it. I was surprised that you surprised me on my birthday. Mm-hmm. And she wanted to be there. Yeah, like, and I told her, like, I was yeah. like. Out of everybody. As a friend, thing. not even as a celeb. I was, a friend, yeah. Because apart from family, you were the only friend. Yep. I was like, I, I, I kept asking that. I think we had a conversation for months. Mm-hmm. How did this ask come to my surprise? Like, I was Yep, shocked. I just told her, I was like, and oh, we're trying to surprise him. Out, yeah. It was far out in the result. So I was yeah. shocked, like, and I was delayed and everything, and you were cool, cool, cool. Yeah. You know, so. We've hung no, out with that, her, that, that, everything. That, like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You, and I don't even hang with a lot of girls. Everybody know me, know that. I don't hang with a lot of girls, but you want a few people that I really hold dear to my heart. That's why yeah. I want to do this episode with you, that I hold dear to my heart. And then, and then it's one conversation that we had, we was having dinner once, and um, we was talking about, it's hard to trust people. You don't know what people motive is yeah. when they come around you. And I feel like friendships, even our friendship is still growing. Um, it, friendships, it need to be where everybody can benefit each other. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So if you're down and there's something I can do, I'm going to make sure it happens for you. Yeah. Vice versa, you've done that. Yeah. Vice versa, anything that we down on and we yeah. can help or just encouraging or just a text, just checking, you don't have to be on the phone with a person every day. Like you said, mm-hmm. it, I knew that about you. That's why it's not for a when you said that about the uh, relationship. I don't want to see yeah, you every day. Yeah. Yeah. So that's saying, uh, I got to talk to you every day person. That ain't her thing. And I love that because I'm the same way. We have lives Definitely. but you still Definitely. my girl Absolutely. like you know what i'm saying Absolutely. so i don't know that's really that's deep sam yeah. that's deep. that's one thing i've been i've seen this year like the 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 change how advanced we've gone grown and everything i i i was just telling such i remember the uh, first of january we were praying and i was just telling her like i feel this year Will be different okay. and down to the 31st of December. I'm expecting miracles. I'm expecting, and I literally got like the e- even the reason I'm leaving was a miracle. Like, yeah, like that was another miracle. This production is crazy that I'm, I'm about to be a part of. It. Yeah. So, yeah. For me, and that's something I will keep holding on to, to forever. Anything is possible. Wow, that's a good it answer. Is. But even I mean, in the, in the midst of all this, I've seen some relationships, some friendships, some people that I feel like. They are with me for life. Like, yeah, boom, yeah, just drop. Yeah. You know, so for me, that's one thing this year that mm-hmm. I, I would say I've learned. Anything is possible. What's one of your biggest lessons you got mm-hmm. this year? Mm-hmm. Um, I think for me, it's, it's this discovering myself somehow. Wow. You know, I moved to Lagos in last year, December. Yeah, and yeah. aside maybe industry people, I barely have any friends. I mean, it's almost December. Yeah, I be, it's already no, December, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I barely have friends. I mean, I have maybe like just three, five people that I can really, you know. Yeah. Call. Even those people, they're not people I can just call anytime. Hey, what are you doing? Let's go out. Let's yeah, go out. yeah. You know, it's not really like that. It's hard for me because I, I am normally someone who is. You left a place that was full of love and yeah, friends. Yeah, I had. I grew up in Abuja, so I yeah, had yeah, all yeah. my friends in Abuja, and it's hard for me to make new friends. You know, I'm the person that if you approach me, yep, 
I would answer and aside from that, Lagos, Lagos, Lagos is a jungle, so exactly. And then now I'm here in Lagos, it's like um, someone's a public figure, so I can't just um, I have to be careful with friendships yep. I make too because you don't know who is really trying to be your friend. And there were times I got really lonely. I mean, I have people that would call and talk, yeah, no, we get it, but we I still get got it. really lonely, mm-hmm. you know, in the night, I'd be like, what am I even? Maybe I should just move back to Abuja. Yeah, yeah. But it's like the work is here. Mm-hmm. But I think I just really learned that um, I can I can be lonely and still get work done. And still feel amazing with myself. You know, I learned to enjoy my own company. I That's take really myself dope. out. I experience a lot of things That's on really my own. Cool, and cool. Because I've been able to enjoy that, I also know oh, when I'm with friends, I'll definitely enjoy that too. Yeah. So I'm okay going out alone. I'm okay being on my own. But I also love being with people, being with friends. So. Dang, that's that's it. Oh, my biggest lesson this year I learned was change gonna happen no matter what. Big deal. Whether whether you get ready for it, ready, you can you, It ain't enough for parent in the world mm-hmm. for change to happen. Mm-hmm. People change up and switch up on you. Yeah. People be cool with you and drop you. Yeah. People that you don't rock with or fight for you, like change is change. Yeah, and and I learned. Literally 48 hours ago, it was a person that I never, ever, never, yeah, ever, yeah, yeah. ever, and I don't make many enemies. If you don't like me, it's just because you, you feel a way about me or or you feel you can't talk to me or something. It's not because you just don't like me. And this person was a person that just didn't like nobody. And no matter how hard I worked and how much I did, this person just would not give me props. But yeah. to hear how this person exalted me in the most positive way, literally like this is the only person I would work with in Georgia State. And this is the person that when barely would speak <laughs> and they was like no you guys, you guys anybody, not in competition it need to be this, yeah. it need to be yeah. Tasha Emerson because I ain't never worked with nobody that worked with this girl and this person that did, I didn't even know knew I existed change uh, change in like shoot it's just you gotta move sometimes like if, no matter how long you've been familiar in the spot or you've been knowing certain people think he's gonna work you just gotta move sometimes yeah and, it, and when you move, it be for the best sometimes. We can't see it because we are humans. We used to comfort. We comfort used to the same and stuff. stuff. Yeah. But sometimes hard moves is for great, great, great exposure, great experience. Yeah. Um, and, so, and we just got to look back and thank people, whether they work or not. We just got to thank people for the time that we spent with them. So I would say change. Change blew my mind this year. Like you said, all the way down to the end. Like, it's some stuff that happened to me in the last three months. The average person would have committed suicide. True. I'm telling you, but change i'm like but i'm here and i'm enjoying like what is our part part <laughs> black woman come on awesome. come on let it out let it out i'm so ready for the guy awesome. cash baby baby now nah, you're gonna make me cry because i cry when someone next to me is crying we're not crying here, please. <laughs> I'm grateful to God. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm yeah. so grateful to God. Yeah. Should, should we call? <laughs> I'm so grateful to God. Ah, uh, no, I'm not gonna cry no more. No, All right. no. Are you sure? I'm positive. No. I'm positive. So I had to let it out. <laughs> <laughs> I had to let it out. All right. So say, say, this is the last part. Oh, okay. Tunja, bring bring that thing over here. Bring that thing. All right. So before then, we gonna pull. This is a deck of cards. This is not voodoo. Okay. okay. This is a deck of cards that uh, I created uh, over the last uh, few years. Yeah. And um, I always have people to pull cards. Um, and there's good messages on there from God. Yeah. I, I really cried on this episode. It's crazy. <laughs> so I say, pull three of them. Three, okay. Three. Um, one, two, three. Okay. They used to be handwritten uh, and on fancy, fancy stuff. So you pull three Keep as well. Read and remember. Okay. I'm going to let you read the back of them in a second. I want you to read them out. Okay. All right, say take go first. So read the back of it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you can get anything in life. Be bold enough to believe it. Oh, that's kind of that's insane. Yes. Say that again, sir. You can get anything in life. Be bold enough to believe it. That's deep. Yeah. All right, go to your next one. Okay. Um. The pain you suffered was a part of the plan to make you stronger. All in sync. Love on yourself and level up. Love on yourself. All in sync. That's crazy. Level up. Go. There ain't never. That one never was there. Wow. Teach people how to treat you. Wow. All in sync with what we talked about. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, wow, wow. So it's great, you guys are powerful. Let's see what you got. This is nice. Yeah, man. Do three. <laughs> Do three. Pops. This, 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 the first line reminds me of Pasha. Okay. Um, what? Who are your wise men? <laughs> Who are you rolling with? Who are those speaking into your life? Use your energy on those that matter. Rebuild your foundation. This D. Mm. Tell me two people that you are grateful for. For me, I'm grateful for myself. Like I said, the growth. Faster. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just no, talking. No, no, no. <laughs> no yeah. let's deep. Let me hack. Let me hack myself. Because there are a lot of things, like I said, I, can, I never believe it's possible. I never believe I could do. You know, mental health, everything. You know, that's one. Then two. I think I've said it before. My dad. Keep praising him because your daddy though. Yeah, yeah, my dad is my G for life. To like some to to dead do us parts type of thing. You yeah. know. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm grateful for him. But I won't be. Let me move on. Okay. <laughs> then the last one. All you can do is chop the wood in front of you. Finish mm. today, focus on now, and move strategically. That was for me. These were some good ones. This is an old. That was, those were good. These are literally every card in this deck. Yeah. Um, I hand wrote, and I just have people pull from index cards. Yeah. And um, I would work on set, and God would give me these different messages, and I just write them down. Yep, these are all personal messages from God. This is deep. Ah, right, okay. So, Sasuke, last part. Okay. How many pairs of sneakers do you have? Sneakers. Cause of you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Every time Tasha's watching, she's like, hey, Sasuke, so I got you some pairs of sneakers. <laughs> well, well Sasuke. Another one is We got you another pair of sneakers. Huh? So, this is from our sponsors. Uh, I, I love, love you so, so much. much. It's the name of the brand, literally. Oh, because I love you so much, Sister Sasuke. And this is the most comfortable, most comfortable shoes ever. So um, this company is it's a su sustainable uh, fashion company. Yeah. yeah. And then these are made out of plastic water bottles. The people throw away trash. They process and make it to shoes. Sustainable fashion. Sustainable fashion. Yeah, it's big. And then got you a face mask. I got you a choker. Socks, tabby socks with the toes, please. Yeah. And we got you a nice card. You read this when you get by yourself. Don't read it. Okay. Yeah, so we want to give you this, my love. Thank, Thank you. you for being a part. And y'all, y'all didn't see our sneaker house shoes. Yep. Let's, let's show y'all. Mine is so Yo, legit. Yo, I love sneakers. Yeah, we got sneaker house shoes, y'all. You know what I'm saying? This is so comfortable. They comfortable. Yeah, so here you go, love. Thank you, you have more so now. Much. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for doing this episode because this yeah, episode yeah. is a special one. I, for me. I love it. Yeah. This yeah, is a I very special one for me. Normally it'd be way more, okay, Sasuke, so what you got going on? And la da da. But yeah. we I know Sasuke, okay? <laughs> y'all know what y'all know. I know what I know. <laughs> and if you want to Whatever hear, you know. Whatever we you know, think you know, Sasuke. you don't know. Okay. <laughs> Sasuke, our girl, we appreciate her. Oh, I'm so grateful that she came through. And um, this one was the most one for me, but I love this episode. This is my favorite episode. I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna see it. This is my favorite episode. Um, and we peacing out. Y'all got anything y'all want to say before we get out of here? I'm good. You good? Okay. Right, you have anything you want to say? I know. Peace, peace, peace.